orders are as follows. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Where, yeah, we're not in the camp because there was no conversation happening. And yeah, we're just out here. I did went ahead and uh, got one item from her. It was a glaive which I gave to. What was it? Wheel. Yeah, he has it, and that's pretty much about it. Pleasure. Uh, we're just gonna continue around here. I saw what was it? Branding. Got this brand, right? Let's see. You I think. Still yeah. I talked with you. We are gonna go towards and try to see with Volo if we can rescue him. And see. Oh, you have a interesting name, Zorga. You look like you could kick the ass of half the scrubs in here. Bunch of drunken layabouts. No me though. I'm hard as they come, and I'm itching for another fight. Hmm. Oh, if I choose the first option, will she attack me and then I'll have to fight everyone? But, uh, okay, speaking of another fight, what's the next raid going to target? Drow studying the war map, trying to figure it out. You should talk to her. Get the killing started quicker. Anything else? You should come on the raid. Ah, yeah, that's. I, I don't want to start a fight. Just to start it. Okay, this ladder is taking me where? Oh, there is a whole other level out here. Collapse corridor. Okay. There's a chest. Now I have to be careful with the weight around because Ooh, that's not a lot. I mean, that's quite a bit of gold. Uh, didn't want to say that's not a lot of gold because it is. To be honest, so Volo is down here. Can I traverse on the other side? Oh, I can. Perfect. There's another chest, that's what I was curious about. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll just get the scrolls, don't care about the candle. Looks like this could be like another hidden path and whatnot that you can use. Like to sneak around. There is another chest though, up here. Silver glass, silver tray, this at least kinda sell quite a bit. Which I might just do that. That just is empty, yeah. Okay, let's go down. Yes, first things first. Ah, actually, hold up, hold up. Ah! Just curious where that collapsed corridor is gonna take me. <laughs> there is some it's screaming going on. Something's blocking it from the other side. Oh, really? Huh, then what's the other side then? Right, so what's going on here though? Oh, hello. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat! Please! Stop! No, no, no! Don't you Here dare! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like! Say we'll take over. 
His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll detect the thoughts. Got the bonus, share the hard guidance. Uh, that was uh, really close, actually. No, no, why won't he speak? The drow's gonna kill me if I can't make him talk. Hmm. You know what? I am gonna do performance. I'm taking over. Your sloppy handiwork is going to kill the prisoner too quickly. Basically, we're doing what Shadowheart told us. E that's actually a 15. Okay, we managed. What? Think you can do better? <laughs> Go on then! How about it? I wanna watch that weird priest next door. Can we talk with the rats? Hands off! This one's ours. <laughs> Okay, bye. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about uh, it. Okay, I'll get that one. This is considered stealing. Is there anything out here? I see a skeleton. Anything else of importance? Any possession check? No. Some gold and another ruby. Oh, hi. You're patrolling. None shall see me. I just wanna take these ones, to be honest. No, and we're just gonna steal. Oh, actually, hold up. You're. I'll pass them to my character. I can use this to a nine. Culture creatures. Yeah. I can't it's just something. Nice something to sell, I guess. Okay, let's see, see if I can get him talk. get him out. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Uh do you know the nice song? Where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but... A theft has been reported, what? and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. Uh... There are so few honest guards these days. Unfortunately for you, this is one of them. Really? You're no under bright. arrest. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna attack. You are gonna. You're out of here. MFR. Really? No, don't run away. Nice. Good, good one, Asterian. Uh, you had some stuff. I'm gonna pick you up. What path lies before me? You're heavily encumbered. Yes. Is there any box I can uh, hide? Or you know what? Can't throw, really? Uh, Shadow Heart. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Gonna drop. Let's go in. Yeah. <sighs> Into the chasm. Bye. See ya. So, um, if not nothing now, happened. <laughs> That's two goblins. I killed them. <laughs> None is the wiser. Who? That did not alert the uh, whole camp. Right, Liam. Please, please. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it. 
That's all about the night nice song, right? Uh, so Brian had something. We, I think, uh, we got the note. Was Brian the the dwarf? I don't know. Also, I'm looking for a druid. Halsin. Halsin. I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Uh, relax. I'm not going to leave you here. Th thank you. Th thank you so much. Just be patient. Please. I'll be back. H hurry. This is the thing. If I let him out, will that alert the... <laughs> the priestess cut might uh, might have been able to help us, but being a goblin proved to be fatal for her. Okay, yeah. Transformed into a f bear. It might still be in the, that shape, right? That's the thing. If I if I release him, if that's gonna alert the whole camp. Okay, you guys didn't hear anything, right? Zuga, we're cool. You should come on. All yeah. round you. Use them. Oh yes! Everyone howls when they're on fire. Uh, there's a potion of healing over there. Receiving her grace diagram. Who are you? Hi, hello. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You yeah, recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Uh, you mean the one they are torturing? Please. The things they do to that man. So crude and primitive. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Oh. Who invited you, a goblin? Yes, he's just over there. Between you and I, his claims of mastery over pain are unfounded. Pain should be intimate and loving, not violent and brutish. Alas, he... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes... Something terrible has happened to you. Ah, uh, beg your pardon? Uh, how did you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these... dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. I beg your pardon? How, how would you do that and what's going on over here? As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. <laughs> Go on. I have to see this. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I saw your book. Let me try some of those techniques. My, 
an eager student indeed. Those are advanced devotions. The mistress would approve. Indicate which instrument calls to you, and let us put it to work. Uh, you know what? I'll have what you're having. Oh, I do believe we are both going to enjoy this. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Okay. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Kalak, you better love this. I don't know what's going on and why we're doing this. And let us begin, dear one. Yeah, just... Right. Yes, this will do nicely. You better not take health off me. Ow, that's a fight. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. <laughs> okay, we have constitution. Try to hold back your cries. Yelp loudly and beg for mercy. That's performance. Can do constitution as well. Intimidation. Come on, a child can hit harder than that. Then bard. Make a show of screaming from the top of a lung. I'm gonna go for performance. <laughs> Dramatically back for mercy. No, please, it hurts. It's too much. Please, it's too much. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Yes. Would you have yes. joined up with him if you'd known he'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I have my hopes. <laughs> Any commentary from Kalek? Turn towards the wall. Um, I wonder what the next move is. Can I heal myself first? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Got to keep moving. No, no. Still alive. So that's progress. I want to turn towards the wall. Come on. Not for <laughs> Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. You like that, Karlek? Okay, I'm gonna go for performance again. Right in exaggerated agony and cry out. Ah, oh, it's too much. But well, I'm here sipping a cup of coffee. That's it! Do <laughs> one! Let Lovita hear you! My, my. Who knew our friend had so much blood in them? Try not to lick your lips as you say that. Yeah, indeed. Round three? Come on, I can do this all day. Good. Turn towards the wall. Ah! You are doing so well! Do not give in now! Ah, mercy. I can't take it. It's too much. Yes, you can, child. Take the pain and offer it up to Loviata. Offer it all. Yeah, everybody's enjoying this from the party. Good. Turn towards the wall. Oh. Sweet child. You bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Thank you. I enjoyed myself. Oh, as did I, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Um... Is this gonna be a good... 
really. Needs be a good buff or something permanent, really good. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. Ooh, Ooh Shadow Park is inspired, really? Okay. Endure. Expected to see today. We might learn something. When you have 30 hit points. Okay, you gain. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. Are you talking to me or the goblin? I think you're talking with the goblin, right? Please kill him directly. <laughs> Can you talk more? Bet you couldn't make him sing either, could ya? I'd swear he was mute if I hadn't heard him scream so much. Oh, let me try that fancy whip thing after. Now is not the time to ask that. Is that goblin going to get killed? I wonder. It's down to two health. Okay, and that's about it. Wounds, and we shall continue. I don't get it. I'm not supposed to be wounded. We have been over haste twice. Ritual axe, the creed of the willing. Is he... No, he's not healed. Right. Okay, let's see... Check. Rescue Volo. Locked in a cage. Cool. Cool. Potion of healing. Nice. Two potions of healing. Mega nice. Can use one to heal. Uh, am I not grouped up? Why was I not grouped up? Right. He's gonna quickly go to the vendor and sell all this uh, crap I got. Something's on my mind. Even the ones that I uh, something else. stole should be able, right? Yes, can have that, can have that, and that, that, and that. I think it's enough to. Or. Maybe it would have been enough to barter. Nah, I don't think so, unfortunately. Uh, Hunter's Dagger, hold up. Uh, I have two daggers. It's 130. Yeah, now I see that I can actually get... It's 33. Yeah, I'll get one. Five eight. Because I'm wearing daggers anyway, and on a hit, max max succeed or become ruptured. As much as I can use Watch or. Hmm. Bond alive. This is just a normal sword. Does some damage, but maybe just because, yeah, Asterians should be able to use daggers, right? Maybe give this one to Asterian, then now that they think about it. Bow of awareness, initiative rolls. Someone there. It's just a long bow. Is this Yeah? I'll give this one to Asterian as well. It's a bit more less damage, sure. But no time to waste. Damn, it's good to be alive. What now? Pleasure. Okay. How delicious. Uh, 
and the thing is the other one deals additional to burning targets so in case this is situational <laughs> both are situational but this is on hit and if they don't uh, succeed on saving throw they become ruptured this well we have the barrels and whatnot what am i to do <sighs> no time to rest so then uh, i think i'm able to have short swords right Or not? E. I don't. Right. So that interested means. Times. Mm. No one back home will ever believe I this. Just sell it then, because I'd only receive proficiency from it. Keep a blade close. Let's move. So yeah. I'm just gonna sell them. Whatever it takes. I do have enough items on, to give to Gale go. in case he becomes unstable again. Time to press ahead. Need something else. Other than that. Uh, no, there's no extra stuff on it. Pleasure. It's all good. Alright, let's see with Volo. What can we do? And yeah, that was worth it. We got uh, an inspiration from poor Shadow Heart. Rebelina, just thinking. Do you again? And oh, hello. Yeah, you're trying to sweet talk your way. Looks like it. And we have some other containers that we can check. I suppose this is mostly gonna be either rotten or something good here, I hope. More camp supplies. Which at the moment, yeah. I'm not gonna Oh hello, actually dearest Elminster. I must be brief as I'm under some duress, having become the esteemed guest of our ambitious host of goblins. I would, of course, rather be under duress than under a feathered duvet. For danger and adversity are the very ink in my well, so this is good news indeed. As we all know, there is no wit quicker, no tongue more civil than that of your humble friend and scribe. And by regaling my would-be foes with tales of goblin heroics, I have become an indispensable member of their tribe, namely their chronicler and bard. In this guise, I shall live among them a while so that I may observe their peculiar habits and reach all so called as closely as possible. All of this, of course, be documented in my next magnum opus, my love among among the concrete host, to be available at all good book sellers forthwith. An enticing extract is enclosed with this missive. I implore you to spread the word so that adventures and curiosity seekers across the Sword Coast and beyond will be a quiver with anticipation of this life extending and soul enriching guide. And with that, I must depart. I am summoned to sing a ballad of my own comp composition, and the lady, yes, I call her a lady, who delivered the summons, is rather, rather impatient, not to mention well armed. Truth be told, I believe she has, she has some, dare I say, deep affection for me. She calls me her pigeon and rarely strays from my side. Perhaps there shall be a chapter in my book regarding goblin marriage rituals. I balk at nothing in my guest, in my quest for knowledge. Until we meet again, inform the world entire of the diligent research I'm under undertaking and ensure word of my upcoming masterwork is on the lips of every innkeep and cell sword from Waterdeep to Beluir. Volo. Any... No, no quest. Right, Volo, can we talk or... Don't go bothering my pigeon, it's mine! Right. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's we'll yeah. it to ya? I was admiring him. I like one of my own. Then catch one on your own! The mark glows. 
but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. God damn it. Uh, right, I'm gonna read her thoughts again. Of course, as per usual. Guidance. Thank you, Shadow Heart. This Rengar better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Mindora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. Oh, she likes him. Um. Ooh. Deception or intimidation? I'm gonna try deception. He looks weak, sick even. He won't last long in there. So yeah, just let him out, you know. Take him for a joke, why don't ya? And don't let the lad snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. Bring ah. him back when he's all tuckered out. It is gonna be a nice talk. Pigeon's all yours. Escort quest, or what's going on? He follow? Oh, my friend, we can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? Uh, you're Volo, right? I've read your work. Oh, an individual of some learning, I see. You're quite right. Volo Thamp, get up! Yo, Realm renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. Not so loud. Well, oh, come on. I will be at your service once I've been freed from this ensconcement. Speaking of which. All right, I'll get you out. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but please don't tarry. Mm. Yeah. Again, I'm in the situation with the other guy. If I let them out. Tend to your wound. What to do? Will the camp go hostile? That's the problem. I mean, I could uh, test it out and see, and then I could just quick load. You know what? Yeah. And if need, need be, I'll just quick load. Aha! I knew I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Um. How'd you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. And how do you do... how do you intend to sleep the yoke? An invisibility potion, my friend. Ah. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Uh, wait, he's... he can be another character that I can use in my party? Like, the bard? Well, I am the bard right now, so... Sure, go to my camp. We'll talk there. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Right. Figuratively speaking, right? So he's out. Meet us back at the camp. I need to do a uh, rest anyway. Now. Okay, so he goes invisible. Gotcha. Don't need to do anything about it. Although, his girl might be angry. Now, Liam. Please, get me out. I'll try. Pick the lock. Uh, I'll see if I can do it myself. I'm gonna need a sterian. Uh, that was actually quite close. 
This might alert the guards. The lock clicks and opens. Guys, yeah, how do you gonna get out though? Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Well, what did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Sure. Uh, okay, so you're going this way. Okay, so there's a path. I, I had a feeling there might be something hidden there, but my guys couldn't find that. Right. Uh, speak to Saza. Before we do that, what's on the left side? Also, or will be down here. Breathe quiet. Move with care. Stereo. With ease. You should be able to pickpocket this right easily. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. This keeping my head down. Is that a feeling we're not supposed to be here? Oh, um, uh, spiders. There's actually an entrance over there. Leaf mouth. Um. Actually, can I speak with the spiders? Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. No, thank you. Uh, you should eat the goblin instead. They're delicious. Are you for real? No, I'm gonna use these pressures. Come on! A nine? We told the bonuses? Delicious! I do not know. The cruel and sharp. Yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable. Yes. Okay, Asterion is inspired. The peace pirate attacked the goblins. Uh, Shadowheart enjoyed that one. So I'm assuming they're fighting right now? What's with the red here? So yeah, I have a feeling they... The spider went to a fight. What's with the cave mark then? Oh, is this for the night song actually? No, nope, copper for your thoughts. Cannot use the spider egg or cannot interact with it. This definitely is. Oh, hi. Um. Iron gate. So this is the side entrance. Gotcha. And actually, yeah, you know what? Asterion. Can you make the job? Of surprise. Not bad. What you cannot jump anywhere? Really? I've got a long road. 
then I suppose it's a side entrance. If you go, that's a lot of spider eggs. If you go, for example, sneaky, you go through the priestesses quarters and all that. Okay, you're in the web. I, for one, I'm fine. Stealth, don't, don't need you to yet. go stealth. Yeah, there's some fighting over here happening. Yeah, the spiders were about to go down, though, I think. Um, am I to gonna go into forward. combat, though? Hi. I mean, I can talk with them. So you have fun with that, okay? <laughs> okay, I saw a critical hit over there. I think one of the... No, the spider died. Can I... Sure. Okay, combat finished over there. What about you guys? What's with you? Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. You're lovely. What about you? Unless you like big, bristling, hairy legs, I wouldn't go down there, mate. That's the spider pit. Well, already been there, so <laughs> it's all good. Okay, that's uh, there's some wooden barrels for one. <clears throat> Let me guess, is this gonna be? No, nothing interesting. I thought maybe, maybe it would be like a burrow or something. Okay, what's going on here? If you're close enough to talk with me, then you're too damn close. Damn, okay. What about you? This ain't the part. Hmm. No. Nope. Well, what can Okay, if sharp I eyes on me. I'll get me ass back to the party before somebody put me to work. Can I chat with Brock? Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Hmm. How'd you land yourself in the cage then? Because I'm loyal to McLubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Uh, the absolute. The other god seems to love her. They like feasting, fighting, and fornicating. Who doesn't? The absolute gives them that. Gotta know your place in the world though. McLubbyet's kept us in line. That's what a god's supposed to do. Oh, nothing else? You think this is funny? God damn it, I thought maybe we could... Best avoid that trap. Ooh, okay. Somewhere something is a trap? Where exactly? I mean, you... S okay, I guess you saw it. I don't know where, but you saw it. Oh, uh... Nothing on this one? Wasn't there something with the moons? He turns... And what not. Ha! Boss. I'm just gonna keep moving. Do a one You're skip. Like the the I guess uh, it's something else important. A longing for small spaces, stone walls hugging. Cl there is a light here, in the tight space. But no. You feel the rat's impatience. Okay, he sees something I do not. Yeah, most of these characters only have one thing to say. 
Right, what's uh, happening? Whoa, what's happening here? That's a mind flayer. Silence, you'll interrupt the ritual. Okay, I'll go around. And hopefully it's not gonna be automatic conversation happening. Just out of view. Well, hello. Okay, looks like uh, people might not be able to see me here. Yes, That's a lot of food. And this might be only food around here. Silent is the grave. But he's telling me that's a lot of gold I can take out here. Re oh yes, we're definitely gonna lockpick this one. Because why not? Twenty gold. Ooh, and we barely made it. Actually, that was not a critical hit. Critical success. Oh yes. Oh, and another infernal iron. Ooh. Nothing happened, boys. Nothing happened. All's well that ends. <laughs> yep, the gate's closed. Uh, please no thieving BS or anything. What is it? Okay, Infernal Iron. Attention. She can have it. Is that blood? No, never mind. And then... Amulet. Everyone's dream. Well, okay. well, well. I mean, she has the absolute talisman. Why? Oh, it's healing. Can't cast spells, unfortunately, because I'm not proficient with armor. This is gonna bite me in the rear. Quite a bit, unfortunately. Uh. Does give healing. So that means he can do speak with the dead either. What's next, I wonder. What a charmer. Um Astarian can have this. Because that can uh, be used. This is just necromancy spell. My face protects me. The absolute. It's only 5% healing. This is. An ally you touch regains hit, hit points, but possibly falls asleep. So there's a chance. Hey, ironic. She believes in Shar and she has a saloon. Amulet. What's next? Uh, actually, I'm gonna uh, keep the absolute. Then give this one to Kalek. Now I notice she doesn't have. In case, All right. I need to what heal now? and whatnot, <laughs> and then have a the amulet. I'm gonna hold on to it. Well, in it. What about the gloves? The wearer gains, gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or three, two or more foes. Wanna dance? Ah. You gain two percent armor, to armor class, as, as long as you're not wearing an armor or holding a shield. Again, I can't remember if this. I might need actually to look this up to be sure if Kalak needs to be no shield and no armor at all. Let's have some fun. Because... Or I could give this one to Lazel. And then Spring Step Boots. Don't already have something... Ah, this is Lightning Charges. Gotcha. When dashes. 
gonna need to hide. Acrobatics. Way to go still. Additional. Okay, that's These good. Stayed interesting. This again might be, maybe even Lazel or Gale. I think both of these might be better for Lazel. I have to check off screen for that. Best can I? Time. Yeah, I can hold to that. Trust hold on to them. Still breathing, despite everything. So Lazel might get buffed a bit more. Soldier. Never a dull moment. Okay, that was not bad. Plus Infernal forward. Iron. And this, if I'm not mistaken, should be... Well, actually, no. It's actually, it's another chest out here. Some arrows. And let's see if there's anything on this other side. Grease bottle. And then a crate. Okay, rope and lock picking, sure. Scroll of speak of three dead. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so that's pretty much it, this area. And then we have Saza on that side. You know what? I think it might be time to do a long rest. Oh! Volo is joining us, I think. Yeah, it looks like every What's time the characters mind? have their uh oh, come on. You don't oh. They have their helmet on, on so I need to speak. It is Mainly because I'm saying that. Uh, because off screen I put them to have the helmet off it looks like I have to do that all the time so actually she doesn't have any boots any proper boots so that's good ah yes gloves of archery proficiency with long bows and short bows unfortunately she has the crossbow so this is not helping for her. These ones are a bit more better. No time to rest. And then somebody else? Chuck. As you should mind my step. Who could you? I can't How remember can I uh, what Wait. gloves you have. Maybe him. Ah. Excellent choice. Well, he doesn't have any gloves, gloves, and but That's again, smooth. this is long bows and short bows. Oh, I have the magic touch. He has a light crossbow. That's not Shouldn't helping. I wish to live in more interesting. Go ahead. Things. I question the. I'll be here. Can't slow down. Okay, Asterion, no will is already feeling better. out here. Well met. That. I know I can do this off screen, but a hero at heart. You do have a short bow, but you have the abyss beckoners. But yeah, this is the where summon creature has resistance to all except psychic damage. I don't have any summon creatures. And these things are staying That's interesting. That's the, the issue. So you can have... I mean, you're the proficient. But it will be for damage then. Is I'm gonna hold on to these right. gloves. I don't know. No, never mind. Right. Will? Well met. Are you sure? And... With haste. Yeah, it gives extra proficiency, you know, for short bows. He already has a short bow, so it's just for the damage. Not exactly great gloves. Right, Volo. 
are you gonna be my new party member if the game decides to work game ah, ah my finally good damn fella. quite the cozy setup you have here i'll just make myself comfortable thank you so much i was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings mind flares cultists and of course your esteemed company <laughs> What do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Uh, I mean, I fought one of them. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. Well, not only I only have encountered one, I've killed one. That... that can't be. Yeah. He was aboard an autolite. I saw basically I killed him in his lair. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Uh, that's one word for it. It's more like psychic transference. Curious. Transference. Elicits their technical name. Form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... Unless you've been infected in one of their parasites. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Okay. What can you tell me about ceramorphosis? I mean, more than I know. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. Right. I mean, if only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You but I'm not. Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh. Sure, you know what? You can examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. Uh, wait. What are we doing exactly? What, what did I agree to do? If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet God! Uh, can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Right, Volo has decided to remain in our camp. Having such a learned scholar might be useful. And I did get... a new armor. Okay, which I can use, a bit less armor class, sure, but when I inspire an ally, I use a Baldic Inspiration, I gain 4 hit points, temporary. So, yep, definitely we're gonna equip this one. It's uh, looking rather dashing, though, if I say, say so myself. Keep your distance, darling. And I think yeah, everyone else has armor. So, you're not... It says level three. Are you another companion then? Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I see no option for joining me, like having him in the party. So he's like Weeters then, I suppose. Has the research turned up anything that I might help help me with this parasite? Not yet, I'm afraid. But my expectations are very, very high. Of course they are. Okay. So, 
Uh, where's the car? Hey, soldier. Fuck yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, so he is just another vendor. Cool. Okay, we're here in the camp. Did uh, get another item, all that. Reorganize a bit. And I'm gonna leave it here then for this episode. We'll continue next time. Where we're still gonna be in the camp, but I'll uh, initiate a long rest. Because uh, I have a couple of elitid options that I think I can do with either Asterion and Shadowheart. But they're not that uh, charismatic. Plus, I kinda need to refill my spell slots and whatnot. So, yeah. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode, guys, and I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget to take care.